Yo, what up? It's Say My Name. Yo, what's up? It's Cream. What's up, guys? This is Ryan Tim. This is Blunts and Blunts. I'm Solomon King here. It's Black Tiger Sex Machine. This has been Trilvo. And you're watching Trilvo.com. 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 Trilvo. Disillusionize me, Captain. <laughs> So what if the guy threw a shoe at me? You know, I've never been so happy to hear something really? before about well, my yeah, yeah, yeah. So Since like, for example, I don't know, like, imagine that you have just like a big night and just like stupid shit, you know, someone says like, yo, his night was like Texas, you know. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, yo, yeah, that yeah. is so sick. So, it's so it's, okay, so you're, you're actually from Portugal. Can yeah, you yeah. tell us a little bit about what the music scene is all like out there? Yeah, it's, it's great, you know, like, I don't pay much attention to what's happening in Portugal, like, right now, but, but uh, yeah, it's super good, you know, like, the bass music scene is becoming, like, really big in Portugal, but, uh, yeah, people pay more attention to, like, Portuguese hip-hop, rap, rap, Portuguese rap, you know, that's, like, the main thing there, and they like, pop music, you know, yeah, it's a little bit of everything, yeah. Do they have, like, their own specific, like, genre out there, you know? Yeah, how, like... we have, like, uh, fag, you know, F-A-D-O. That's like a that's like a typical Portuguese music, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like about we have like a guitar in Portugal. That's called kind of like a Portuguese guitar, you know. So far, it's like two Portuguese guitar players and like a girl or a guy. And like they are like just singing about like a sadness, love, you know, just about feelings, you know. Yeah. Really? That's like a typical Portuguese. So it's like a passionate country. Nunca mais nos encontramos e nunca mais yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, how yeah. do you think growing up there has influenced you, like, as a music artist? I don't know. I think it's like, yeah, I don't know. Like, that, that's a very, like, deep question. I know, right? Because uh, I know, like, in Houston, we have, like, Southern rap, and it's really influenced, yeah, like, yeah, that, you yeah. know? I think it's like, I don't know, like, sometimes I, I kind of, like, I'm a little bit sad when I'm making music, you know? So, definitely, like, being from Portugal and, like, that type of music style, like, part being from Portugal, like, helps me, like, that, you know, yeah. So do you think being in that type of mindset like is yeah. better for you creative wise? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like I would, I would like to make like everything, and I think like every type of like mindset is a good thing. Like yeah. to make music, you know, so. Yeah. So what really inspires you when you're creative? I don't know. I think it's like a cliche answer, but it's like everything in life, you know, like my friends, my family, like playing shows, like traveling, you know, like every like every life life experience is like something that's gonna inspire me to make make something. You know? yeah. If you had to describe your sound for people that are watching at home, they've never heard this before. What yeah. would you say it is? I don't know, like freedom. I think like that's the best definition. That's so sick. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know because it's like like I like to make a little bit of everything, so it's really like hard to say. Like the same my music sound one word, you know, so, so yeah, what, what like what, just what, not the rules. Producers out there right now are like inspiring you. I don't know. I don't know, there are a lot, you know. Uh, yeah, can I go to SoundCloud and go to my likes? Like, I don't know, like... That's, actually, that's actually how I find, like, most of my new music. I go to, like, a producer, SoundCloud, that I really like. Yeah. I go to all their likes, yeah. Yeah, I think it's like, I don't know, like, there is a lot. Like, I'm really listening a lot to, like, Asian rap. Asian rap, you know? Oh, yo, Asian rap, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's what I like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, like, some guys called Higher Brothers. And uh, there is a, a girl called, um, oh, I forgot the name, it's like, yeah, she's like, like a South Korean rapper, she's like really long there. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've been listening to a lot of like, different stuff, you know. So have you always listened to EDM? Or is this like... No, yeah, I like to listen to everything, you know, like, uh, when I was like a kid, when I was like five years old, I started listening to the Prodigy, you know, the UK band. Yeah, so like, they make, they make like everything, you know, like drum and bass, reggae, hip hop. And uh, yeah, that really opened me like to listen to different stuff, you know, like I listen to a lot of like punk rock, hardcore music, uh, 
I don't know, like EDM. I love listening yeah. to what people, like producers, listen to when they were growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always feel like that was crazy. Yeah, I, I used to listen a lot of like Wet Table, you know, so yeah. Yo, like the Prodigy, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like the type of music that I used to listen to. And uh, yeah, EDM is like, I don't know, I think I started listening to EDM when I was like five years old with the Prodigy, you know. And, uh, but you can really spend anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, then when I was like 17, I started listening to a lot of like drum and bass, love step, you know. So yeah, I don't know, I love everything. Yeah. So you just played a backpack on stage. Tell us yeah. a little bit about y'all's, how y'all style like, is. Uh, uh, no, actually, this was like my first time doing a back to back set with someone, you know. So yeah, it was really fun because like, he had said, like, we've been like making music for like a, a, couple, a couple months. So yeah, like, it was like really organic. Like, we didn't prepare anything, everything was just like on the moment, you know. Really? Yeah, we were just That's like, so cool. yeah, because like I'm from Portugal, he's from here, so it was hard to break this on the internet. And I was like, dude, let's not just think let's about, yeah, let's just go with the flow, you know. And uh, yeah, we were just like, dude, but whatever you want. How do you feel about it? Yeah, it, it was dope, you know, like I wasn't expecting so many people, you know, because I was born at 7 p.m., so I was like, yeah, maybe just like a couple hundred, you know, but Texas. yeah, 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 yeah. it was <laughs> great, you know. It's bigger than Texas. It was like, it was like one of my favorite shows this year so far, you know. Okay, so you just recently won the Goldie Award. Holly! Yeah. yeah! First off, can you kind of tell us a little bit about how that, how, what that is? And like, the Goldie Awards. Yeah. So, Goldie Awards is basically like a beat pedal made by Ace Rack. Yeah, a beat pedal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah, because like, it's like, it's like the first time doing Goldie Awards, you know, so it's the first edition. So, that's why a lot of people don't know what Goldie Awards is about, you know. Yeah. Tell us what that's like. I mean, yeah, honestly, I don't know. Like, something like that, not only did you have like some of the top, you know, like de mixing actual DJs judging you, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. A-Craz, DJ Craze, Diplo, all of them are there judging yeah. you. So that's a real DJ competition. Yeah, and I'm yeah, sure yeah, a lot yeah. of these, like, because it's like you have, you have like the beat battle, then you have like the DJ battle, you know? Exactly. When it's like you have like people like scratching and third day with me, you know? So, yeah, that was crazy, you know? Like, yeah. for, for shit. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to do an interview with well. like this thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it's like, um, yeah, for me, first of all, like, Goldie Awards was really nice because, like, I don't know, like, I grew up listening to a track, Deepo, Grace, you know? Like, I really love, like, what Mia is doing, you know? So, like every like yeah, every like those people looking at my work and be like, oh, this beat was better than the other one, and that was really dope, you know. Like, that was huge. Yeah, was yeah, huge. yeah, yeah. It was really nice. Like just boys as well. And um, yeah, I don't know. Like it was like it was very overwhelming to me, you know. And uh, like first of all, like so like Goldie Awards, first of, like you need to send like a submission by internet, you know. Like you need to send like your, like you need to send like one minute of music, and you can put like whatever you want on that minute, you know. So I sent like four beats in like one minute and uh, yeah, I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna like show my music to a drink, you know, like I wasn't expecting to go to the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like everyone can do that, you know, like yeah. all the submissions, you know. And uh, so yeah, like then they, they sent me an email like, yo, like, you, I'm gonna fly you from New York. You are sick. Yeah, uh, come I'm through. gonna fly you from, from Portugal to New York for the beat battle. Uh, yeah, it was, it was great. And you yeah. won. You took it yeah. all home. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Okay, okay, so 2017 yeah, it was cool. Like, I feel like I feel like I just did like one percent of what I would like to do this year. You know, like I wish I could do. Yeah, I wish I could do like way more stuff. You know, like working with like with my favorite people and like producing some of my favorite members. You know, like yeah, it was cool, but there was a lot of things to do. You know? yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what you have coming up next year? Ah, that, that, I know like, like so many people can't tell us shit, but yeah, I don't know. It's like I have like. A, like some EPs, I have like one EP in January uh, with Alpha Pub, that is like a level for me, you know. Uh, what else? I have like a couple shows in America in January, and uh, yeah, like some more shows like during the year. Yeah, it's like at the moment it's just that, you know. Like, yeah, more music, more shows, yeah, like more experiences. Hopefully, you know? we can get you out to Houston. That's yeah, we'd love to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Alright, well, we thank you so much for taking Yo, your time out of your business. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. it means a lot, man. Holly yeah. is amazing. Can you plug your socials for everybody? Uh, yeah, it's like my Facebook, it's like Facebook Beats by Holly, Instagram is Miguel Holly, and uh, yeah, I just like, I'm gonna do it by Twitter, you know, because it's no, like, yeah, it's, it's like, I don't know, like, it's just like a, a waste of time sometimes, you know, like, a lot of people just throw, like, negative thoughts on Twitter, so, yeah, yeah. I'm like, a little bit sick of, like, opening Twitter and be like, oh shit, like, I don't really know what, what to get about my life, but, you know, Just like, focus on the music, yeah, that's what yeah, you love, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, maybe, Thank like, you so much.
Facebook. Appreciate it, guys. Alright, we're gonna go back and enjoy nightmares.